Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you six different apps that pay you passive income. And also you can cash out via PayPal. And these apps are also all free. So I'm not gonna show you a bunch of like investment apps where you have to pay a bunch of money to start. None of these cost any money to start. So the first one is Swagbucks. And you can use Swagbucks on an Apple, Android, or regular PC device and so pretty much any device is usable when it comes to swag bucks but if you go to their ways to earn they have a lot of different ways to make money so that's why i've mentioned them in past videos because they cover so many bases and they're a free app so if you go to the drop down here like i'm on swag bucks watch right now so if you wanted to watch videos which some people think watching videos is kind of like passive income because technically you don't have to pay attention and you can do stuff while it's on but in many cases these apps have something that makes you log in or uh, put in a code or something that proves that you're still watching so i wouldn't really consider the video part of these passive income otherwise this list would be a lot longer but uh, when it comes to passive income they have two main ways that you can look at and one of them is their search area so if you go to swagbucks search you can start using this as your browser instead of google and you can actually get paid so i wouldn't recommend you start using it more just to make money because then it wouldn't really be passive income but if you're just using it as you normally do with google or yahoo is it's actually going to give you yahoo search results but uh, if you just use this search bar instead of google every time then you actually get paid points towards being able to cash out and you can cash out via paypal or gift cards or however you want to do it they also have swag bucks local which basically is part of you know just another section of the app you know they have like a shopping section you can get money back for shopping and stuff well what you can do is put a card on file a credit card of some sort on file and then you get points back for shopping at certain local stores so when you shop at you know the local stores you normally shop at when you search online for the things you normally search for on the internet you can get money from swag bucks on top of getting paid like ten dollars to sign up you have referrals you have surveys videos and a lot of other ways to make money as well so they're very good for that kind of stuff swag bucks is also available for both android and apple devices as i mentioned here's a few screenshots from the app itself and the apple version used to have only surveys but now it's the full version so both of them have very good ratings and that's a good one i would recommend another one that i would recommend you look into if you have an android device is slide joy and i've had this one for actually like a couple of years now it's a really cool app because it doesn't require any work it doesn't require any time to be put in it's literally you unlock your phone everybody has to unlock their phone to go to the home page of their phone whether you have a passcode or you have the thumbprint thing or the facial recognition or however you unlock your phone and so what these apps like slide joy do is they put ads on your lock screen and then you get paid for that just to be there because a lot of companies are always looking for ways to just get their brand in front of viewers even if you don't click it so you don't need to unlock your phone more often more often or anything to make more money you don't need to click on all these things you don't even need to read the ads they're just going to be there all you do is you swipe twice to unlock instead of once and that's pretty much the only difference you're going to notice and make sure you use your points that you earn from SlideJoy by the end of the month because they can expire. But you can also refer your friends as well and earn even more money. And what you can do is cash out via PayPal or I believe they have Amazon gift cards as well. And then on top of that, they pay you, you know, you might make an extra $120 a year or so, like $10 a month. So, I mean, you could pay for, you know, your Netflix account or something with this. It's not, not any one of these passive income apps is going to make you a whole lot of money, but the combination of them can really add up. And uh, another one is MB Meter CX. So you may have heard in past videos, I've covered 
these apps called data collection apps is what I call them because basically they collect data in the background of uh, what browsers what browsers you use and what apps you use. Basically, they're just creating these big user data collections and using them for surveys to get a better idea of what consumer behavior is like and to better understand consumer behavior. So MB Meter CX is very similar to that, but they're the only one I've actually seen that pays you via PayPal. So all you do is you get this app for your Android device. I don't believe it's available for Apple right now, but if it's running in the background, you literally don't have to do anything else. It just pays you money and the the amount of money it pays you can vary a lot. I've seen people claim that you might get one cent to two dollars per day or more based on location. So I've seen some random reports that reported as much as like sixty dollars per day. I'm not so sure about that. I wouldn't count on that. But um, what you want to do is just have it running in the background if you are okay with this just collecting a little data for these big user data survey surveys and everything and uh, again it's usually just for like understanding consumer behavior you know your your phone carrier your service provider all of these are probably collecting all, all your data anyway whether you know it or not it's probably in the terms of use on like the 50th page and uh, you probably agreed to it when you checked those little boxes and uh, got your device. So this one at least pays you for it, unlike those. And another thing you can do is try inbox dollars. So uh, inbox dollars, they have a website version that's pretty good. And they also have an Android version. Those are the two versions that are like the full versions. Now you can get it for your Apple device as well, but it's just surveys. So I wouldn't mess with that. That's not passive income. That's just answering questions. But unless you just really like surveys and just want to make a couple extra dollars every month, um, you know, I wouldn't even bother with that. But as far as the full version, you can make money from surfing the internet, much like you can with Swagbucks. So when you're signed into inbox dollars, on your phone or on the uh, PC version of it, you can go to the search part of the menu and it will basically, like you'll have a menu right up here at the top and it, you'll have the search option. And once you do that, you can basically just uh, use it kind of like the Swagbucks search thing works. It's very similar to this. It just has like a search bar and it'll give you maybe Yahoo search results or something else. And then uh, you're just using that instead of Google. And again, you don't want to just go out of your way to use it because then it's not really passive income. It just becomes work. So inbox dollars is another one. If you're someone who uses the internet a lot, you know, or even just a little, you can make a little extra money from that. They also pay you to check your emails which is not necessarily passive income, but a good way to make extra money. And then they have surveys, videos, offers, and other things as well as a referral program and about a $5 bonus just to sign up. Then we also have something called screen lift rewards, which is one of the other uh, few lock screen ad reward apps out there that pays you via PayPal. So very similar to SlideJoy, and they put a small ad on the front of your phone. You still have your time and date and all of that stuff, notifications. It's not going to mess with any of that stuff. It's just a little ad, kind of like a second lock screen on there. And then you can cash out via PayPal. Um, it's another one that might make you another $10 a month or so. And uh, some people have used multiple... Um, lock screen ads at the same time i believe i'm not sure if these two are compatible compatible i'll have to get back to you as far as whether they are or not but you will be able to use at least one or the other as long as it, you're using on it you're using it on an android device because apple doesn't allow these types of apps for whatever reason so screen lift rewards same general thing as SlideJoy, just a different brand and uh, they just put a little ad on your lock screen 
And then last but not least, they have an app called PodCoin, which is kind of cool. I really love the concept, and I have it on my phone. But um, I listen to a lot of podcasts, so it really applies to me. Whether or not you listen to a lot of podcasts may determine whether you should even bother with this app. It's not going to pay you a lot of money. Like I said, none of these are going to pay you a lot of money by themselves unless you can somehow get that uh, CX app to give you up to $60 a day. That's pretty good. But uh, PodCoin, you know, they might pay you a few dollars a month extra just to listen to your podcast episodes on their app instead of Stitcher, instead of your Apple app or whatever. You know, there's a bunch of them out there now. Um, Himalaya is another one. They have a bunch of different podcast platforms now. But if you use PodCoin, they actually pay you for it. So you earn these points and it's like a minimum of like a thousand or fifteen hundred points to uh, cash out, which is like one or two dollars. And then you uh, pretty much get passive income because you're listening to a podcast. Usually you're driving or you're doing chores or something, or at least that's what I'm doing when I listen to a podcast. And so you're kind of getting multiple things done and earning a little bit of money at the same time with this. So, you know, whether or not it's real passive income or not, I think you could make the case for it. But PodCoin is available for both Apple and Android devices and is very highly rated. It's got about a 4.7 out of 5 star rating, 4.6 on Google Play, and is a really cool app that has all the major podcasts on there. I haven't searched for a podcast and not found it on there yet. They have the Joe Rogan Experience, Tim Ferriss Show, all the big news ones, all the comedy ones, pretty much all the ones you want are on there. So you also have a referral program, which can make you a lot of money. You get like 150 points per referral or something. So if you want to cash out more often, you might want to get a few referrals as well. So uh, hopefully this was helpful for you. Check out that playlist and the show notes for more apps like these, and I'll see you in the next video.